What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and I've got some news hot off the press coming from the website Electric and that is that people who live in Europe are now receiving invites to configure their Model 3. So congratulations. You guys have been some of the longest to wait for this invite. I think a lot of you are going to be glad that you waited because it is truly a phenomenal car and I know that once you get into it you're going to really really appreciate it. There's a couple of things to keep in mind right off the top. The higher end most expensive configurations are the only ones that are available right now. The performance all-wheel drive Model 3 as well as the long range all-wheel drive version. Now I'm sure at some point here, probably into the new year, they'll open it up for some of these other ones, but they want to get those higher margin cars out into European markets. So be prepared to spend on the higher end of what Model 3s cost. And on that note, I want to give four tips for all of those who will be putting in their order for Model 3 in Europe. Things that I have seen personally and I have noticed with other Model 3 owners. Let's dive in. The first tip is, please, Put a clear wrap on at least the front of your car. This will protect it from rock chips and chips in the paint and all of the chemicals that may maybe they don't use in Europe, but they certainly use here in Denver to put on the roads when it gets snowy and icy. This clear wrap will protect it and keep it looking great long term. This was something that I did not do with my Model S. And as you probably saw in a previous video, the wear on the front part of my car is starting to look really, really bad and I'm beginning to consider getting it repainted. So put a clear wrap on it and you'll be glad that you did. It's worth the investment. My second piece of advice to those taking delivery of their Model 3 in Europe is to put some sort of protective wrap on the middle console of the Model 3. As you probably are aware, it is a high gloss black. It shows dust, it shows scratches, and it couldn't have been a worse choice on Tesla's part in terms of materials. So in order to prevent all of those scratches, I see a lot of people putting clear wraps on them, but also vinyl wraps like matte or carbon fiber. There's aftermarket companies that would be happy to help you with that. And I think it will keep that middle console looking really, really good for a long time. My third tip is to do a thorough walk around of the car on delivery day to ensure that there are no major panel gaps or misalignments, and probably more importantly, that there are no blemishes in the paint. I noticed that there was a high number of Model 3s with paint blemishes at the end of the Q3 delivery rush, and I'm not sure what happened, but my guess is they probably pushed a lot of cars out the door to increase delivery volume. Do not let Tesla try and deliver a Model 3 to you with clear paint blemishes, and a car, by the way, that you're probably spending upwards of 70,000 euro. Make them fix those paint blemishes, which brings me to my fourth tip. Don't be afraid to not take delivery if the car does not meet your expectation. As I said, you're spending a lot of money on this car. Keep Tesla accountable to make sure that they're delivering the highest and best quality car possible. This may also include taking delivery of the car, but making sure that Tesla covers the cost of fixing things like paint blemishes or panel gaps or clear visual blemishes on the car. And that is one thing that Tesla is really good about. If you on delivery day notice a few things and you tell them, they are really, really good at taking care of those things at no extra cost to you. So those are my tips for you, my European friends, who will be probably putting in orders for Model 3s here very soon. Keep these things in mind as you go through that process and take delivery of your fantastically amazing Model 3. And if you do need an owner's referral code, it will be in the video description of this video and also on my website, allthingsev.info. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one.